You wouldn't think that rescued animals, a car rally and airline employees had anything in common, but in this case, they do. The Dublin SPCA does amazing work with animals in Ireland. Two CityJet operations controllers have decided to use their participation in Ireland's leg of the Scally Rally as a way to raise funds for the charity. This automobile race takes in some of Ireland's most challenging roads, testing the cars and their madcap drivers and mechanics from the 15th to the 18th of October. You have to get a car that's worth no more than 100 euro. It has to be uh, road legal and tested. It starts in Belfast, it's uh, for four, around four or five days. It goes around to the west coast and um, down past Westport, down to um, Tralee and uh, finishes up in Kinsale. So it's roughly around about 1,000, 1,000 miles or so. And obviously we've got to make our way back from Kinsale up to Dublin, providing the car doesn't die between, between then and <laughs> the end of the rally. So hopefully we'll get back in one piece. The challenge is to complete the four-day event whilst winning points along the way through numerous driving challenges. We got the car for free. It has about 160,000 miles on it, so it's going to need quite a bit of work. So obviously there's some costs involved in that. But Rudy's going to do all the work. He's the he's the brains of the operation, which is quite scary. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> The lads are incurring a lot of costs repairing the car, plus tax, licensing and rally registration. CityJet has agreed to pay all of these pre-event expenses, which is a big help to Rudy and Mark, who made the decision not to take any of the costs from their donations. What made you pick the DSPCA as your charity? Uh, well, I've always had animals all my life, and dogs and rabbits cats and things like that so I joined up to them on Facebook and I just seen a couple of the cases they've done and it was a uh, you know it's a really really good cause and um, it's just something I've always said if I had the money I'd give money too so I don't have the money so I'm gonna raise it this way instead. The Dublin SPCA is Ireland's largest and oldest animal welfare centre. Um, we help both domestic animals and wildlife. So each year through, uh, through the shelter here as well as subsidised vet clinics that we operate all across Dublin, we reach about 25,000 animals. Um, and each year we rehome just through the shelter about 3,500 in all and that's primarily cats and dogs. This shelter in Rathfarnham cares for animals rescued from cruelty, neglect or injury and is currently home to a shifting population of cats, dogs, rabbits, horses, donkeys, goats, ducks and many, many more. It costs about 2 million euros each year to operate. We're not a government agency. Um, about 97% comes through donations, um, support from the public. Um, so we rely on monthly support from people. Uh, we also get uh, corporate donations and corporate support. Um, but it's a lot of just people, everyday people who love animals that say that, they, that this is a cause that's important to them. So they either make a donation or they, or they give monthly. Cabin supervisor Astu went along this day to ask the questions but ended up falling in love with the animals. We're developing a new social business model to fund our own work. So we're opening a new public vet practice, a boarding centre and a dog park and 100% of the profits from those new businesses will come directly back into the charity, the shelter, in order to support the work. And if the funds raised from the car rally go to the DSPCA's new facilities? That new model will help us help animals forever. So it's, a, it, it's sort of, a, it, it's a, it would be a gift that just keeps on giving for a long time, helping many animals. Ah! <laughs>